Well, good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for visiting once again with your update from the city manager. My name is Mark Orm. I'm blessed and proud to be your city manager here at the beautiful city of Chico. And I will tell you, there's a lot going on, but I want to just highlight two quick things today for you that are taking the time to look at this. One, our transportation dollars that are coming in. One of the biggest things that people complain about the most here in the city is our public infrastructure, our roadways, our streets, and you've seen a tremendous amount of work be put in. A large segment of Cohasset just a couple of years ago was completed. A large segment of Esplanade was just completed this year. Well, I've got some great news coming because we were just awarded over $13 million for the remainder of that Cohasset segment up near the airport to be totally rehabbed currently in its state, it needs to be improved dramatically. Uh, this has been asked for for a long, long time. City staff was successful in getting 100% funding for that project. Typically on the type of grant that we receive, there's a 25% match, but staff did such a fantastic job in developing that grant and with the support uh, of the federal uh, government agency that helped give us those funds, it was fully funded 100%. 13.3 million dollars. That is exciting and you will see that start to get rolling forward up as soon as next year. In addition to that, you know earlier this year we received an excess of 22 million dollar grant for our Bruce Road improvements. Uh, obviously with the Cohasset grant that's in the north of the city, with the uh, grant for Bruce Road that's on the east side of the city, uh, it's incredible to see uh, the amazing amount of grant funds that are coming in. What I've really been proud of is Director Brendan Ottoboni and his team in the engineering department who have put together comprehensive and sufficient grant projects that are being approved. That is in excess of $30 million alone. We anticipate another close to $8 million grant we will be notified of in the coming weeks ahead, which I'm hopeful to come back on and share with you. We've gotten that as well, and that's for a project in the south part of the city. So all of that to say, thank you, city team. You're doing a fantastic job of getting those grant projects together so that we can improve our infrastructure, and we hope to receive more and more as time goes on. The other item of importance that I have continually heard about, I know a lot of discussions are taking place in the community, is with regard to homelessness. One of those things that's been extremely difficult over the past number of months, if not years, has been finding a permanent location, a permanent solution to helping to get folks out of the circumstances that they're in and up on their feet again and into a productive lifestyle. That's been extremely difficult. Nobody has a perfect solution to that. However, the city of Chico has been working hand in hand with our community partners to find a place at least now, especially during COVID, with a temporary emergency sheltering solution. I think we're close to having an answer to that. In the coming days ahead, I hope to have some good news. And if I have to use the authority that the city council granted me to authorize that temporary shelter in a location to make it fit, I'm willing to do that. And I'm excited to make that announcement if and when we get to that point, which with the recent information that I've seen, it looks like we're getting very, very close. I really wanna thank True North for all of their dedication and work. I know that uh, Miss Amaro over there is doing a tremendous job of balancing a lot of needs right now, but I've seen her working with Susie Cockums on the city team, our Homeless Solutions Coordinator, uh, along with the County of Butte and a number of other partners, where I think you're gonna see some really good things coming up very soon. So I hope that gives you a little bit of hope on that front, and I look forward to delivering that message sooner than later. So with that, that's what I've got for you today. I know that Thanksgiving was just past uh, this past week. I hope you had a really wonderful time with family and friends, even under the COVID conditions. Um, I know I did, and I will tell you, it's beautiful right now in Chico with the leaves falling, fall is upon us, and it's the holiday season, and I hope you all enjoy it. So with that, thanks for joining me again today. Have a great day.